Hola mga Lakers! Welcome back! If you are new to my channel, my name is Sir Kevin. I am an ICT coordinator and instructor in junior high school. I'm also an advocate of the Teki program. My goal is to share my knowledge and skills about educational technology, most especially to my fellow teachers. I upload videos every twice a week. So if you are interested in learning about educational technology, subscribe now and hit that notification bell so you will be updated on my latest video. We are now on part 8. If you want to check previous parts, just click the caption above. I made series of videos for me to show you how you can use Google Classroom. For this video, I will show you how you can start a video conference using Google Meet. In your Google Classroom, go to settings by clicking this gear icon. Under general settings, you will see Google Meet integration. Just toggle this to enable. Once you're done, click save. If you notice, a Google Meet link appears on your stream. This Google Meet integration is only available for domain accounts. Meaning to say, if you're using a personal account, there is no option for you to create a video conference. But the good news is, Google Meet will be available and that will be soon. To invite your students, click this Meet link. It will open a Google Meet tab. Before you join meeting, check your microphone and camera on the settings. If you want to know more about Google Meet, click the caption above. If everything is all set, click Join Now. A dialog box appears showing the details of your meeting. This is the link you need to invite your students. Highlight and copy. Go back to your Google Classroom and post a message inviting your students to join your meeting. Once you're done, click post. On students' view, they will see your invitational message. Once they click the link, it will proceed to Google Meet site. For them to join, they need to click Ask to Join button. It will send a request for them to join. On your screen, a request message appears. Just click Admit for them to join. If you want to check who's in your meeting, click this icon. It shows the list of your audience or participants, and also their current status. Once you're done with the meeting, as a teacher or admin of the meeting, you want to make sure that before you leave, everybody left the room. Then go back to the settings of your Google Classroom. Reset the code. And toggle off the student's visibility of the link. This prevents student reusing the link and going back to the meeting without your presence and knowledge. Google Meet integration in Google Classroom is a great feature, making it easy for teachers and students meet through video conference. If this video helps you a lot, give a like and share to the people you think who needs to see it. And don't forget to subscribe. That would be all for now. My name is Sir Kevin and thank you for watching. See you on my next video.